Good morning. Happy Thursday. I, why do I have to think about it? I mean, really. Let's get some light in here, okay? I'm trying something new. It's a, it's called a tentacle, but it's not spelled like, like an octopus's tentacle. It's like, oh, here it is. T-E-N-I-K-L-E. -E. And it is like an octopus, <laughs> sort of, that it has three legs though, not eight. But the three legs have suctions on them. But I can hold my phone out further so that you're not all up in my space. Yeah. But I would like to show you something, okay? <sighs> so, I came home yesterday and of course, I finished my video, I walked Penelope, I fed Penelope, I fed Gracie. Can you say good morning? You and your owls, can you say good morning? Okay, thank you. And then, uh, and of course I had a little bit of dinner, even though I, I had lunch at three o'clock, yeah. I take all of this, you see all the blue tape on it, and I wrap that wheel. Now this wheel is not very heavy. As you can clearly see, of course I am freakishly strong. <laughs> and that, ba that base is not heavy, but all of that compressed into one box is heavy. Okay, all right, did I get it back on there? Yes. Okay, I wrapped the whole thing in bubble wrap, taped it down and all that stuff, because I was gonna roll it. We be rolling. I was gonna roll it all the way to Jones and then come back for the stand. And I got it all done. And then I called her. Now, I should have called her first. Long story, not even shorter. Joan said, oh, uh, I don't want you to bring it over today because I have dinner plans. So, I'm, I'm about to leave. And I was like, uh. So, then I thought, well, <laughs> I'm going to take all the plastic wrap back off because... I mean, the tape, it's just going to stick right back on there. And honestly, I can probably just carry it. But I didn't want to leave it just standing. And I didn't want to lay it down because it does kind of take up a lot of room. Somebody said it has to be a small cat. It does not have to be a small cat. It is for up to 22 pounds is what the directions or the specs said when I ordered it. And that's a pretty deckum big cat because even Juicy Joy is 17 pounds. So anyway, I took all that back off and stood it there. And it's, I think, it, well, I think it's supposed to stop raining by afternoon. So maybe I'll get it out of my house this afternoon. But <laughs> she's still here. Mm -hmm. I realize I never said why I took all the tape off and all that stuff. And I know people will ask me if I don't explain, but I thought if I just took all that off and put it back on the base, that Gracie may actually get on it and walk and I might could get a video because it's all about the making of the videos. She didn't, so. Plus with the bubble wrap, it wouldn't fit back in the stand and I was afraid she would mess with it and it would tip over. Anyway, that's my logic for pulling all that off. I just want to get that out there because I know inquiring minds want to know. Mm. You can't question what goes through my brain, okay? Okay. But I will say, you know, sometimes the post office delivers Amazon packages. And the post office came yesterday. Where did they put my packages that I received? On the top step, right in front of the door. Now, granted, I could open the door, but I couldn't step out. So, I'm having to bend over while holding on to something because, you know, bending over is one thing. Because I can easily bend over and touch the ground and stand back up. I mean, it's pretty good for weighing 1,100 pounds. Am I right? <laughs> I can't let that one go. But when you're bending down and adding a foot to that and you have some girth in the middle get, getting in the way, 
yeah, anyway, I was like, really? Really, United States Postal Service? You're going to do the same thing Amazon did? Rude. I like this because I can stand further back. So I'm going to insert that little video uh, that I took. And now the post office. At least I can get the door, but I can't really step out. Dad it! And then I'll be back because I got to get Penelope hooked up because she hasn't even come in here and it's time to go for a walk. And I think she's laying in here asleep. Are you laying in here asleep? Get your butt up. Come on, it's time to go for a walk. She's laying in here in her bed in the office. Honey, I'm going to the office today. Okay, bye. I'm going for a walk. See you later. My friend Rhonda dropped by the other day. These still have tissue wrapped around the little wine bottles. Aren't those cute? One's a cat and one's a dog. There's, there's the dog. Isn't that the cutest thing? So I gotta get the tissue off of them and then decide where I'm gonna put them. But she's the one that bought my townhouse. And she said she's had them and been wanting to give them to me ever since she bought my townhouse. Now, see, the thing about this is I can then sit you down. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, I had other things, but this one's better. And I can turn it sideways if I ever want to start doing sideways. But faceplate, you know, the faceplate, it doesn't like sideways videos. But the YouTube, the user tube does. So, but I can't do two videos because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Two different ones? That's too much work. I'll be back. I gotta get her harness on, okay? Shut up, Tracy. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And something is better than yours. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Hi, could you come out from under the coffee table? Could you come out from, come here, come here. Got the um, scarf in your mouth. Come out from under the table. Come on, get out from under the table. Get. Don't go around the other side. Sit, sit. Stay, boo boo, stay. I know you hate going for a walk so badly until I get this on and we walk out the door and then you're all excited. Stand up. Go. My life. I hope it's not raining. Is it raining? It's sprinkling. Yeah, it's sprinkling. And I have no hat on. And my hair looks fabulous. Ugh. Am I right? Ugh. Okay, so what was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, uh, riding down the road with my dad yesterday and I asked him what's the fastest he ever went in a chase. Of course, there was way less traffic back then when he was on the road but it was 110 miles an hour. <laughs> and he was going down Highway 41. Maybe, perhaps you've heard that in a famous song, rolling down Highway 41. So then I told him one of my little jail stories. And I don't know if I've told y'all this one, because like I said, they just come to me. But we had a male police officer come in and he was, oh, it's really raining. And he was a very small framed man. Can you do your business? Cause it's really raining. Yeah, can you do your business here? And he brought in a female. Well, I don't exactly know what transpired, transpired because it happened so fast. But all I know is the woman he brought in started pushing him and pushed him all the way across the intake lobby he got up against this chair and sat down in the chair. He had no pushback on her. She was strong. Okay, so then it was like the next week or something, a female officer named Lynn, <laughs> she brought in a male inmate and he got in her face. Come on, let's go. And she began pushing him. It was like a mirrored image almost she began pushing him and she was right in his well she was technically kind of right in his chest because she's not very tall but she was looking up at him like this and man she was basically in his face giving him what's for and she pushed him across the room till he sat down in that chair 
And I lost it because I was like, just last week, a female pushed a male officer across the room. And this week, a male, a female officer is pushing the male across the room. Same end result. I thought it was pretty funny. Penelope understood the assignment and she got her business done. So I'm gonna go to work now. So this is probably the end of part one because I imagine it's probably pretty long by now. That's what she said. Actually, that's what he said. Toodles for now. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to part two. Can I not go anywhere and do anything without doing something dumb? All I wanted to do was go to Target while I'm on the clock <laughs> and get some garbage bags for the office until I can get to Costco. Because I told my boss, I said, Costco is a whole mood. You know, I have to be in the right mood to go to Costco. And that ain't today. <laughs> I ain't going to do it today. That's usually a early, early, early Sunday morning thing when there's not that many people there. Okay. So, I go in Target, and I'm looking for the garbage bags, okay? And then I see, <laughs> I mean, it's a natural thing that we all do, okay? But, um, you know, butt wipes, okay? Just to be honest, butt wipes. I just, I saw them up on the shelf, and I thought, oh, yeah get some of those <laughs> well they're up high right and they're stacked three high up high so i'm pulling and i'm trying to push the one above it back while pulling and pushing and pulling ask for help no that's not what tracy tries does okay tracy tries does it she just does it okay uh-huh yeah mm. so <laughs> So, so, all three of them came tumbling down, which is fine. I caught one. Oh, I caught all three, actually. One bounced off the top of my head. I mean, they're wrapped in... I'm not going to show you my wipes. But they're wrapped in soft stuff. They're, it's not like a hard plastic case. They're dude wipes, okay? <laughs> I love the dude wipes. <laughs> the other one smashed into my glasses, which is fine. They're fine, except the whole entire glass pressed into my eyeball, which is fine. My eye's fine. But when I took my glasses off, I had a giant imprint of my makeup on my eye, on my lens. So then I'm walking around because, you know, I wear an undershirt. So I'm walking around trying to clean the eye makeup off my lens because, of course, I don't just have lens cleaner and I don't like digging in my purse in the store anyway because I always feel like they're going to think I'm shoplifting, right? Because I always feel guilty for something even though I never steal anything. I don't like stealings. Okay, we get that. And I put everything back in its place except for the one in the uh, crook of my arm because, of course, I didn't get a buggy because it's Target because I could fill a buggy up. I, you know what I'm saying? So I keep walking down and this very nice gentleman steps out in front of me and he's talking very softly. And he says, hi ma'am, may I speak to you for just a moment? We're having some something specials or something. I said, okay, I'm thinking I'm on the clock. I mean, and even though I, I don't mind going to Target on the clock, to pick up things for the office, I was heading back to get candy uh, because they've eaten all the good candy. And it's not for me, it's for the boss. Anyway, none of your business, okay? So I'm walking towards him and he's talking to me in this very kind and soft voice. And he said, do you have T-Mobile or Verizon? And I noticed then that his shirt said AT&T. And I said, yes, I do. And he said, okay, well, we're having a, a special over here or whatever. If you would like to come talk to them about switching to at and I said, I'm not switching back to at and I just switched from at and back to Verizon. And I will never go back to at and because your coverage sucks. And he was like, 
oh, well, I'm so very sorry to hear that, ma'am. And I was like, well, Tracy, that was a little bit gruff, but it's true because I couldn't even talk to people on my way home from work that I would lose coverage in a county with 850,000 people. You ain't got enough towers to pick me up on the way home in a little four mile area? Squeeze me? Verizon has never let me down as far as coverage goes. I'm just saying, I don't care. I ain't switching. I am not switching because I got locked into AT&T for two years and my dad switched to AT&T the same time I did because that's what he does. And he was so irritated for two years because he couldn't get service either. And I was like, oh, oh I cannot wait till this two years is over so we can get back to Verizon. Because when I went to Jekyll Island, my cell phone was the only one that worked on the island. Anybody else who had any other service, their cell phone didn't work. Mm -mm. Verizon was the only service that worked inside the jail. No other service worked. So yeah, I'm keeping my Verizon in case I go back to jail. Okay, that I'm not going back to jail. I worked at the jail, okay? And I'm definitely not going back to work at the jail. But uh, yeah, so you're thinking that's probably all that happened, right? Mm -mm. No. So I get back there to the candy and I grab the bag of candy and then I'm going to take a, a walk through the home stuff because, you know, it's me and I like home decor stuff. So I'm coming down the aisle and as soon as I step out into the open aisle, my boot decided that it was going to stay where it was and I tripped and I made that sound you know my boot made the er sound on the to draw people's attention to me who saw me tripping and straight up tripping boo and i almost fell and i looked up and this man was looking at me and he turned his head and put his head down i said it's okay sir go ahead and laugh it's okay you saw me trip didn't you he said please be careful ma'am <laughs> don't call me ma'am like i'm older than you sir because you're older than me from what it looks like. Anyway, that was my adventure to Target. <laughs> and now I'm going to go get me some lunch. Don't worry about where I'm going. And then I'm going to go back to work, okay? By the way, I tell y'all of my things that happen because I feel like I can't be the only one that goes through all this stuff. And I want those of you who are like me, like-minded people, I don't know why I keep doing that, like I'm on the Starship Enterprise or something, but I want us like-minded people to realize that it's not just us, okay? It, yeah, solidarity for the clumsiness and the bluntness, bluntness. <laughs> Oh, it's really raining. And, uh, the, yeah, clumsiness, because I, I got hit in the eyeball with dude wipes today, okay? And if you haven't tried the dude wipes, get the menthol. <laughs> I like the menthol flavor. Not flavor. Ooh, Tracy. I like the menthol. Yeah, minty. <laughs> That's TMI. Okay, I'm at chicken. I mean, I'm getting my lunch. <laughs> I'll be back. So the girl at the restaurant that I'm at, that y'all don't need to worry about where I'm at, she come out and she told the new girl, I guess, she said, well, <laughs> you have to stay out here until, you know, the weather's really bad because it's pouring down rain. Uh, you stay under the awning. You have people pull up under here before you take their order and you keep them tight and all that stuff. But, you know, if it gets really windy or you see lightning or things like that, then we'll have you come in and i said so basically if there's a tornado about to touch down then you can go in but otherwise you need to stay out here and take my order and then i hear the little mic key up and they said we need y'all to come in i said can you take my order first i mean the tornado's not here yet we're not under a tornado watch i was kidding with her and she said yeah go ahead <laughs> look you got five seconds I know what I want. I am not slow when it comes to giving my order. And I it I I would be one of those people who would lose my flipping mind at the people 
who driving. Would you move up? Would you move up? Thank you. There's like two car lengths ahead of you. The people that get, come here and they don't know what they want when they come here three times a week. I am talking about a friend of mine, yes. I'm like, you get the same thing every time. How do you not know what they've got? Really? She comes here more than I do. And that's saying a lot. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all laugh. Because I am in a very good mood. I'm just being silly. Because my glasses attacked my eyeball. I mean, I mean, it could have been dangerous. I wonder if I could get workman's comp for dude wipes hitting me in the eyeball at Target. Because I am on the clock, technically. But I was buying them for me. Hmm. Well, and I'm part-time, so I probably don't even have workman's comp. So, we'll just let all that go. But it do be looking rough out here. So, I'm going to let y'all go. That's going to be the end of part two. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, good Lord willing, which will be tomorrow. Toodles, manoodles, and stay silly, my friends. Okay? Okay, goodbye.